Blessings, greetings and blessings. Thank you for joining Master Chef Nay in the kitchen lab for more flavor and seasoned recipes. Today we are making our stuffed metacotti shells. So we have um, our ingredients here and I'm going to puree my onions and red peppers. They're a little mini can. So all the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description below as usual. You know how we do guys. All right, guys, we're just going to get these. All right, guys, we're going to salt our water here. Generously season my water here. I'm going to add a spoon of my coconut oil so everything won't stick together. Add our medicati in here. Guys, make sure you set your oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And also, don't boil the manicotti all the way through. Boil them about six minutes. All right, guys, we're going to put our peppers and onion mixture in our pan here. Make sure it's nice and hot. We're going to saute your peppers and onions about two to three minutes. Right, we're going to add our meat here, our ground turkey. And this is one and a half pounds. Again, all the measurements will be in the description box below. Alright guys, we're going to put our seasoning mixture in here. <clears throat> Alright, about five minutes in until your meat not pink anymore. Cook it until your meat not pink. We're going to add our cream cheese and our queso velveta. And let it melt. Okay, we got our cheese nice and mixed in real good. I turned my skillet off here. We're ready to assemble our manicotti shells and stuff them. At this point, guys, you want to taste it and uh, make sure your seasonings and spices are on point. Okay, I, I pureed me some tomatoes and, and took a jar of some uh, like pizza sauce some, you know, and mixed them together. And I'm going to put some in the bottom of my pan here for my uh, manicottis to be supported and not stick to the bottom of my pan. Okay, guys, you just take one of your manicotti shells, take a spoon that will fit, and begin to stuff it in there. It don't have to be perfect. Just get it in there and repeat the process. And normally, guys, I will wait till this mixture cool down. But since I'm doing a video, I'm doing it quickly. Another idea, guys, you can cut it down the middle or just break it down the middle with your hand. And then stuff it and close it back, down, close it back up and put it back in your pan seam side down to close it up like this. Like that. And make sure it's closed up. Now some of these may overlap each other, that's alright. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna hurt nobody. They all gonna get eaten. Mm-hmm. Just roll it on up and place it in there somewhere. Same side down. Alright guys, we're gonna put some more sauce on top. And you can put as little as, as much or as much sauce as you want. You can make a white sauce if you don't like red sauce. I know sometimes I make a white sauce because I don't really care for red sauce. But uh, today, and you can put spinach in these, chicken, um, all type of stuff, shrimp. You can just hook it up. And just cover this baby with cheese. Whatever cheese of your choice you want to put on here. This is mozzarella. 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 And I'm just going to. The good stuff, baby. Evenly distribute this over here. You can put as little as much as you want. This was about a cup and a half, two cups. I normally will put more, but this all 
I had of shredded cheese on hand. So yeah. All right, this is going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about, until the cheese is melted. It's already done for real. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. Stuffed manicotti shells. Look at that. I'm about to let you guys see me get some. You can put garlic bread with this salad. Some chicken wings on the side. Whatever you want. And we're going to eat ours in a bowl here. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. And there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for joining Master Chef Nay in the Kitchen Lab for more flavored and seasoned recipes. Don't forget to click the bell and subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and let me know what I can make next. Enjoy!